you run the numbers and you realize it would be inexcusably egocentric to suggest that we were alone. In recent years, various countries have launched missions to the moon, leading to groundbreaking discoveries that have changed our understanding of it. From a rare element that could be used as fuel to the possibility of growing plants in lunar soil, here are 20 recent mysterious discoveries that will change how you view the moon. Number 20. Dinosaur Bones on the Moon Some scientists are theorizing that humans might not be the first earthly creatures to set foot on the moon. About 65 million years ago, a colossal asteroid hurtled towards our planet and wiped the dinosaurs off the face of the Earth. It also punched a hole into the atmosphere, creating a vacuum in the sky. This created a bewildering spectacle as space rushed in to fill the void, propelling enormous volumes of Earth's material into orbit and beyond. Fragments of dinosaur bones could have been swept away, finding their resting place not only on our moon but possibly on Mars as well. Impacts from celestial bodies have left their mark on various planets and moons within our solar system. When a planet like ours is struck by a sufficiently large and fast-moving object, it can lead to the ejection of debris at a velocity known as escape velocity. This mesmerizing phenomenon, which reaches a staggering 7 miles per second, allows these fragments to break free from Earth's gravitational pull and enter into the vastness of space. It's definitely an exciting prospect for astronomers to find dinosaur fossils while exploring the moon. Number 19. Government's Secret Plan to Nuke the Moon The Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program was a secretive Department of Defense program that became known for its study of UFOs. But a recently released cache of documents reveals that the program's scope extended far beyond the study of potential alien encounters. The documents exposed the intriguing world of advanced technologies that the U.S. government was willing to explore, including invisibility cloaks, anti-gravity devices, traversable wormholes, and even a proposal to tunnel through the moon using nuclear explosives. Nuking the moon was proposed in hopes that scientists would discover extremely lightweight but durable metals in the moon's center. The researcher suggested that the metals could be as strong as steel but 100,000 times lighter than its earthly counterpart. To reach the moon's center, the plan was to blast a tunnel through the crust and mantle using thermonuclear explosions. It's largely believed that the proposal was never carried out, and current NASA Artemis missions have different objectives, such as finding a way to establish a sustainable human presence on the moon. Number 18. Lunar cycles may cause mood swings. The moon has long been associated with human behavior and mood. The word lunacy even derives from the Latin word lunaticus, meaning moonstruck. Ancient philosophers believed that the moon could cause madness and epilepsy. Nowadays, most scientists dismiss these ideas as myths, but some experts disagree and believe that these supposed superstitions about the moon may have some truth to them. In carefully studying and monitoring their patients, psychiatrists David Avery and Thomas were observed something very intriguing about their clients' mood changes. They determined that some of the patients experienced these changes rhythmically, aligning with the rise and fall of the Earth's oceans, which are strongly influenced by the gravitational pull of the moon. This discovery raises questions about whether the moon's gravitational forces could somehow impact human emotions. One theory being explored by researchers is that humans, like the oceans, may respond to the moon's gravitational pull through tidal forces. While the physical mechanisms remain unclear, studies on the Arabidopsis thaliana plant have suggested that even small changes in gravity caused by the moon's orbit can influence root growth. Researchers explained that these minute changes in gravity can lead to the movement of water molecules within cells potentially affecting the entire organism. Whether the moon can affect our psychological state is still a highly debatable topic. How about you? Do you think the moon has an impact on our emotions and actions? Number 17. Mysterious rocket body crashes into moon. Astronomers from NASA were intrigued when they learned that a mystery rocket body collided with the moon and left behind a strange double crater. Thanks to NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, the crash site of the mystery rocket has been located and documented. Images captured reveal the presence of a double crater, which is unlike any other rocket body impact previously observed on the moon. The impact marks left by the rocket suggest that it had two large masses on each end. This composition is highly unusual for a spent rocket, as they usually have a heavy motor at one end and a lighter, empty fuel tank on the other. Since the crash landing of the mysterious rocket, no space-exploring nation on Earth has claimed responsibility for its launch. This lack of ownership has only deepened the mystery surrounding the event. Was the rocket a remnant of a secret mission being conducted on the far side of the moon? Number 16. Lunar Rover Spots Mystery Hut A lot of mysteries and theories revolve around the far side of the moon, so when China's U-2-2 rover spotted a hut-like figure as it was exploring this region, people online started speculating that it could be a structure that belonged to an alien civilization or a human research base. 
The news captured the attention of the world, and they excitedly waited for more information as the rover approached the object and obtained clear images. After nearly two lunar days of driving, covering a distance of approximately 328 feet, U-22 successfully reached the mystery hut. But unfortunately, it was not a grand structure that uncovered an age-old mystery. Instead, images revealed that it was a small rock located near the rim of a crater. It somehow resembled a rabbit, so scientists gave it the nickname Jade Rabbit. The name Jade Rabbit holds deep cultural significance in Chinese mythology. According to ancient tales, the Jade Rabbit resides on the moon alongside Chang'e, the goddess of the moon. Even if the rabbit-shaped rock was not a groundbreaking discovery, it's still a fascinating find because of this symbolic connection. Number 15. Unstable moons can lead to planet's destruction. Moons abound throughout the universe, and their presence can have a significant impact on a planet's stability and the potential for life to thrive. The intricate dance between a planet and its moons is governed by the powerful force of gravity. This force manifests itself in various ways, such as tides and the gradual recession of moons from their host planets. It's believed that some moons that exist beyond our solar system, called exomoons, are unstable and can escape their planet's gravitational pull and wander far away. While this event can definitely disrupt the conditions on the planet, that's not the worst thing that can happen. Once an exomoon escapes its orbit, in a simulation run by scientists, they uncovered that exomoons that wander too far from their host planets often return with a bang, hurtling towards their planets. The fiery explosions resulting from these collisions would eradicate any chances of life on these alien worlds, leaving behind only desolation and destruction. The serious existence of exomoons is a peek into the horrors that could be found in the universe. It also gives us something new to be anxious about. Number 14. Hidden Craters of the Moon Although astronomers have yet to reveal if there are aliens or top-secret lunar bases on the far side of the moon, they have confirmed that this mysterious region is covered with a multitude of craters, far more than the near side. A recent study has shed light on the reason behind this asymmetry. The near side of the moon presents a relatively smooth appearance compared to its far side, thanks to the presence of Lunar Maria. These expansive areas of solidified lava are visible as dark patches when we observe the moon from Earth. In contrast, the far side of the moon lacks these lunar maria. Scientists have long speculated that the formation of lunar maria was linked to a colossal impact event known as the South Polakan SPA, basin. This impact, estimated to have occurred around 4.3 billion years ago, created a massive crater on the moon's surface. It's believed that the SPA impact generated a massive heat plume, causing the moon's mantle to melt, leading to the eruption of lava onto the near side surface. The lava acted as a natural camouflage, concealing the evidence of past impacts and giving rise to the lunar maria we observe today. Number 13. Unlocking the Mysteries of the Moon's Origin The origin of Earth's moon has been a subject of fascination and scientific inquiry for centuries. The giant impact theory suggests that the moon formed from a collision between Earth and a celestial body known as Thea. But many questions still surround the details of this cataclysmic event. Why did the moon end up being nearly identical to Earth, or did it? It's believed that around 4.5 billion years ago, a planet-sized body called Thea collided with the early Earth. Thea, estimated to be approximately the size of Mars or smaller, crashed into Earth with such force that it generated intense heat, creating vast magma oceans and hurling debris into orbit. This debris eventually came together to form our moon. It was initially believed that the moon and Earth share a striking resemblance in composition, but a recent study suggests that this might not be the case at all. By meticulously analyzing the distribution of oxygen isotopes in moon rocks, scientists have revealed a subtle yet significant difference between the Earth and the moon. The mantle, which is the layer below the moon's surface, actually has a different oxygen isotope composition. There is an abundance of lighter oxygen isotopes beneath the lunar surface compared to the Earth, indicating that they are more distinct than what astronomers previously thought. Number 12. Building a Particle Collider on the Moon Particle physics experiments are crucial for scientists to learn more about the innermost workings of the universe and to reveal the secrets of the tiniest subatomic particles. Key to these experiments is a powerful particle collider along with a suitable controlled environment. Conducting these complex experiments on Earth can be a challenge because the environment needs to be cold, stable, and without oxygen as much as possible. However, these criteria can easily be met in a place like the Moon. Researchers have identified several advantages in conducting lunar particle physics experiments, including the moon's freezing temperatures and the absence of an atmosphere. It's also a plus that the moon has a particular side that faces the Earth at all times. 
This means a lunar particle beam can be pointed towards a detecting laboratory on our planet with no issues regarding alignment. The only downside of this idea is that there are still logistical and technical challenges concerning transporting and building equipment on the moon, much less conducting sophisticated experiments. While the idea may just be theoretical at the moment, it's very possible that this dream may someday be a reality for particle physicists. Number 11. NASA finds water on the moon. In the past, researchers believed that water on the moon was relatively scarce and limited to small amounts. However, recent studies have revealed that lunar water is more abundant than previously known. NASA was able to detect water on the sunlit lunar surfaces, which was a surprise as the frigid and foreboding environment would typically prevent its survival. The researchers utilized data from the Sophia Airborne Observatory, a modified Boeing 747SP aircraft equipped with a telescope. However, the water molecules detected are dispersed and do not interact with each other to form water ice or liquid water. The discovery of water on the moon holds great significance for future space exploration. Water is a precious resource, and its presence on the moon could prove invaluable for both human and robotic missions. Some of the key applications of lunar water are its potential use as a drinking supply for astronauts and as a fuel ingredient for spacecraft and lunar vehicles. With a reliable source of water, long-duration missions to the moon and beyond could become more feasible and sustainable. Number 10. Impact of Moon Wobbles The forces of our solar system are so fascinating and also frightening to study because of how precise and balanced they are. A slight change in any of the forces can cause a domino effect that can lead to a catastrophic disaster. Our world is currently facing such a change in the form of wobbles in the moon's orbit. Wobbles are periods of both higher and lower tides that occur approximately every 18.6 years. In half of the cycle, known as the lunar wobble, high tides are lower than normal while low tides are higher than normal. The other half of the cycle amplifies tides, causing high tides to get higher and low tides to get lower. This natural occurrence has not been considered dangerous in the past. However, things have changed and due to other factors, scientists are now concerned that high tide floods, also known as king tides, would become more intense and frequent than ever before, about three to four times more frequent. With this in mind, Scientists hope that enough preparations will be made to prevent as much damage from these calamities as possible. Number 9. Precious Source of Fuel It has long been speculated that the moon might contain precious resources that would revolutionize the mining industry and bring it to outer space. Finally, a groundbreaking discovery has been made that could further ignite interest in exploring our celestial neighbor. A rare lunar crystal has been found on the near side of the moon, holding the potential to provide limitless power for the world. The lunar crystal was discovered in basalt particles during China's mission in 2020. Named Chang'e Site Y, this crystal contains an ingredient called helium 3, a remarkably rare element on Earth but seemingly abundant on the Moon. Helium 3 holds the promise of becoming a stable fuel source for nuclear fusion reactors. Unlike nuclear fission, the current process used in the world's power plants, nuclear fusion reactions occur naturally when light atoms merge into a heavier one under extreme pressure and heat. Scientists have long been intrigued by helium-3's potential as it could provide a safer and more efficient fuel source for nuclear fusion. The process does not produce radioactive waste, making it an appealing alternative. Estimates suggest that around 25 tons of helium-3, or the weight of a fully loaded space shuttle cargo bay, could power the United States for a year, with a potential economic value of $3 billion per ton. Helium-3 has captured the attention of both private companies and countries with space agencies. The moon has emerged as a potential gold mine for helium-3, igniting a race among various entities to harness its power. Number 8. Heart of Iron Using data from previous space missions and the process of laser ranging, astronomers discovered that the moon has a solid inner core composed of metal, likely of iron. The inner core is measured to be around 310 miles wide, or 15% the size of the moon. The study also found evidence that material in the deeper layers of the moon moved around throughout the years and was brought to the surface. This could explain why iron-rich elements can be found in the lunar crust. This discovery has uncovered the details of the once hidden internal structure of the moon. Eventually, researchers may also find clues regarding another lunar mystery. It's believed that the moon previously had a powerful magnetic field, 100 times stronger than the current magnetic field of Earth. Nowadays, it has almost completely dissipated. Since magnetic fields are produced in a process that takes place in the core, learning more about this aspect of the moon can unravel important information about its geologic past. Number 7. Goldilocks Zones On the moon, scientists have identified several areas where humans could stay for extended periods of time and also where lunar bases could potentially be built. 
the moon experiences drastic temperature fluctuations due to its lack of atmosphere and insulation. During the lunar day, certain regions heat up to scorching temperatures of up to 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Conversely, as night falls, temperatures plummet to an astonishing minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Such extreme temperature differentials pose significant challenges for lunar exploration and potential habitation. However, amidst the temperature extremes, lunar scientists have identified approximately 200 shaded lunar pits that maintain a relatively stable temperature of 63 degrees Fahrenheit, similar to the temperature in San Francisco. Not only do these pits offer moderate temperatures, but they also have the potential to shield astronauts from solar wind, micrometeorites, and cosmic rays that pose dangers in unprotected lunar environments. Scientists have also discovered a network of dark caves that could serve as ideal locations for a lunar base. The discovery provides exciting insights into the possibility of astronauts conducting long-term lunar exploration and also the establishment of a sustainable lunar base. Number 6. Tiny Glass Beads of Water During the Chang'e 5 mission, scientists retrieved lunar soil samples that provided valuable insights into the moon's composition. Among these samples, Researchers discovered spheres of glass that had formed as a result of high-energy flash heating events caused by impactors like micrometeoroids and large meteoroids. These glass beads, which were melted and cooled rocks, turned out to be reservoirs of water molecules. The water molecules found within the glass beads were formed through the action of the solar wind on the moon's surface. The solar wind, composed of charged particles like protons and electrons, emanates from the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere. As the solar wind interacts with the lunar surface, it reacts with oxygen present in the glass beads, resulting in the formation of water. The glass beads act as sponges, absorbing and holding the water molecules derived from the solar wind. Researchers envision a process where the water stored in the glass beads can be released through heating. By subjecting the glass beads to heat, the water trapped within them can be freed and collected. This method could potentially provide a means of extracting water on the lunar surface, reducing the need for water transportation from Earth. Number 5. Moon is slipping away from Earth. In any relationship, there's always a chance two parties end up separating, no matter how long they've been together. We've talked about exomoons drifting away from planets that are far away from our solar system, but this phenomenon is not totally foreign to us. Our beloved moon itself is slowly slipping away from our planet, and Earth may eventually lose its only natural satellite. Approximately 2.5 billion years ago, the moon was closer to our planet compared to its present position about 39,000 miles closer. This has significantly affected the length of days on Earth. At that time, one day was only 16.9 hours long. Can you believe it? To this day, the moon continues to move away from our planet, inch by inch per year, at a speed that's similar to how our fingernails grow. Eventually, the moon might drift away far enough that our own planet becomes unstable, leading to extreme temperature changes, swinging from freezing to blazing hot through any given year. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about this yet since it would take billions of years before the moon truly slips away from our planet. Number 4. Signs of Life With the recent discoveries of habitable zones and the presence of water, the possibility that life exists on the moon is no longer that far-fetched. Researchers believe that even though lunar life forms have not yet been found, there's a high chance that organisms once existed on the moon in the past. At certain periods of its existence, there was a lot of heat and energy on the moon. For instance, when Earth collided with Thea to form the moon, it's likely that water vapor was abundant in the atmosphere, and there could have even been pools of water on the surface. High volcanic activity billions of years ago could have also produced water vapor that was essential for life. Then, there were times when Earth was struck by asteroids, transporting primitive bacteria to the moon. It's possible that as scientists dig deeper into the lunar soil, they might find evidence of life, even fossilized microbes trapped in rocks. Number 3. Rust on the Moon Researchers were astounded after analyzing the moon's mineral composition because they found hints of hematite, a form of iron oxide commonly known as rust. Rust is not typically found on the moon as it lacks both air and water. The presence of rust on the moon's surface raises numerous questions that needed answers. After months of research, scientists have come up with a possible explanation for the presence of rust on the moon. They believe that the answer lies in our very own planet. One significant clue that led to this conclusion was the concentration of rust on the side of the moon that faces Earth. This observation suggested a potential link between the two celestial bodies. It's believed that at a specific time in the lunar cycle, the moon becomes exposed to oxygen from Earth's upper atmosphere. Once oxygen reaches the moon's surface, it interacts with lunar water molecules to form rust. This hypothesis explains the presence of rust on the moon's near side, 
where Earth's oxygen can easily reach. However, some smaller traces of rust were also detected on the Moon's far side, where Earth's oxygen should not be able to reach. This mystery remains unsolved. While the researchers have made significant progress in understanding the Moon's rust formation, many questions remain unanswered. Number 2. Gene Bank to Safe Keep Biodiversity a group of scientists has put forward the idea of creating a lunar arc to preserve the genetic material of millions of Earth species. This gene bank, hidden within the moon's lava tubes, would serve as a secure off-world storage facility for biodiversity. By storing the genetic information elsewhere in the solar system, people can ensure its survival in the face of potential apocalyptic scenarios on Earth, such as supervolcano eruptions and nuclear wars. The moon presents several advantages as the chosen location for an off-world gene bank. First, its proximity to Earth makes the transportation of the genetic material much easier than to other celestial bodies like Mars. Additionally, the Moon's lava tubes offer a safe and hidden environment for the Ark. These caverns and tunnels, formed billions of years ago during the Moon's fiery infancy, have remained untouched ever since. They provide natural protection against meteor strikes and DNA-damaging radiation. While constructing the lunar Ark is a complex endeavor, the researchers estimate that it could be completed within a 30-year time frame. However, if humanity were faced with an imminent existential crisis, the project could be expedited with the necessary urgency and resources. The researchers believe that the construction of the lunar arc could be achieved within 10 to 15 years. Now it's time for today's topic. While scientists may claim that the moon has a solid iron core, others believe that this is far from the truth. Instead, they're convinced that the moon is not what you think it is because it's not a celestial body at all, but a disguised alien spacecraft. Beneath the moon's rocky exterior, it's speculated that there exists a strong hull making up the spaceship's inner shell. Further down, the inside of the structure is said to be hollow, containing an atmosphere, different equipment, and chambers. Now, with the moon set to do something it hasn't done in more than 1,500 years, this theory has gained even more attention. Surprisingly, even renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has weighed in on the matter. While Tyson is known for his scientific approach and skepticism, he recently remarked that there are indeed anomalies about the moon that science has yet to fully explain. Though he doesn't fully endorse the idea, Tyson did acknowledge that certain aspects of the moon's behavior and composition are unusual enough to warrant further investigation. Some theorists have pointed to NASA photographs of the lunar surface, claiming that large-scale machinery can be clearly seen in these images, suggesting that alien operations are being conducted on the moon. With the upcoming rare celestial event, which hasn't occurred in over 1,500 years, some believe this could be the moment when the moon's true nature is finally revealed. The idea that the moon is actually a spaceship sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, but with the moon about to make a mysterious move, and even Neil deGrasse Tyson admitting there's more to learn, do you think there's any truth to this theory? Number 1. Plants can grow in lunar soil. The idea of growing plants in space has always been a dream of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. And now, thanks to groundbreaking research, Scientists have discovered that plants can indeed grow in lunar soil, also known as regolith. For the experiment, the research team used a mere gram of lunar regolith from each Apollo mission. The small amount of regolith was mixed with water and the seeds of a hardy and well-studied plant, Arabidopsis thaliana. Researchers also added a nutrient solution to the plants daily. To the amazement of the scientists, after just two days, the plants started to sprout, regardless of whether they were in a lunar sample or a control group grown in a lunar simulant made from volcanic ash. The plants appeared to be thriving after six days of growth. However, it became clear that lunar soil plants showed slower growth, stunted roots, and some had stunted leaves with reddish pigmentation, which was a sign of stress. On the other hand, the control group plants grown in volcanic ash exhibited more robust growth and healthier characteristics. It seems the nutrient-poor nature of the regolith poses limitations for plant growth. However, with a deeper understanding of these challenges, scientists can develop strategies to optimize plant growth and ensure the success of future agricultural endeavors in space. The successful growth of plants in lunar soil has wonderful implications for space exploration, and since agriculture on the moon is apparently achievable, it's exciting to imagine the possibility of establishing human settlements there in the future. Lunar research and exploration are far from over. With these fascinating discoveries, it's intriguing to see how missions to the moon would progress. If you had the opportunity, would you want to explore the moon yourself? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video.